Stay in your rooms. There's an insane guest with a gun. <laughs> Stupefy. Expelliarmus. <laughs> That's what happens when you watch Home Alone and all the Harry Potter movies during the Christmas holiday. Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my best in beauty for 2022. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. I have been looking forward to filming this video for a few months now. This year I tried to minimize repeat products and in a few situations i just could not help but talk about repeat products but in most cases i try to keep this list to products that were new to my collection so without further delay let's go ahead and get started let me start with a product that was sent to me that i want to talk about first because i might forget to mention these. I partnered with Ana Luisa early in the year and was sent some rings like here. I have a couple of the rings on here. I also have on a few of the earrings that were sent to me. But the ones that I really want to talk about that have impressed me this year are these little studs here. So I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can take a closer look. All of these are Ana Luisa earrings, but I do like them. But these studs that you see here, I have them on in both ears. Up until they sent these to me, it had been years since I wore any earrings in my ear. I even have a cartilage piercing here. This comes in a set of three studs. So I actually had to purchase another set of studs to get six so that I would have six here. And they are super comfortable and they haven't started like changing as far as how they look. And I have not taken them out since earlier this year when I put them in. So I will be sure to link them. So definitely want to shout out Anna Luisa. They have pretty affordable jewelry that I really enjoy. So I mentioned these in my December favorites. So I'm not going to spend too much time on them, but these are all products from Lancome and I discovered them this year. And of my skincare, this is probably one of the few new products. And this is a creme mousse comfort. And this is the foaming face wash. I also have the toner as well as the Hydra Zen and this is a gel moisturizer and I am probably halfway done with the moisturizer over half like I've used so much of it. I started using this in the latter part of the year. I had so many open skincare products that it took me a while to open this after I purchased it during an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This is very very good. It does have a little bit of a fragrance. One of the things I think makes this work so well on my skin is some some of these products have salicylic acid in it. I just noticed that I wasn't getting any breakouts. My skin has looked beautiful since I have been using these three products. This is one of the few repeat products I'm going to mention and I have to talk about it because it has been in my skincare routine a couple of years I think. This is the exfoliate from Paula's Choice and it is 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. It has salicylic acid in it. You can use it morning and night. I find that by using Using this, my pores stay clear, I have fewer breakouts, and the texture on my skin is smoother. I have a more even skin tone. So I highly recommend this. I am not the type of person to do a lot of exfoliating, physical exfoliating that often. So something like this is perfect for me and other lazy folks like myself <laughs> because you get to exfoliate your skin without a whole lot of effort. Another skincare product that I received, actually this was sent to me from Bioscience and this is Bioscience by Reese. This was like a collab with Reese Witherspoon but I think that they sell this separate. I got my pink glasses today. This is the Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil. I just really enjoy this oil. I like using oils or rose oil, rose hip oil on my skin, especially in the winter time when it's drier out. I will add this to my routine. I use it sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night. It doesn't matter, but nighttime for sure is a good time to apply oils to your skin. I find that my skin is more hydrated 
by adding this to my skincare routine. So I have really been enjoying this. It's very lightweight oil that is very hydrating to your skin and it's going to give you a beautiful glow. I received it with a sunscreen as well, but I haven't used the sunscreen that much, but I do enjoy the sunscreen, but I reach for the oil all the time. It just feels so silky on my skin. This is the Tula Skincare Protect and Glow Sunscreen. It has SPF 30 in it. This was also something I purchased during an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I actually have it on today underneath my makeup. I love this. It adds this beautiful glow to your skin without making you oily so it's great if you're a person who doesn't wear makeup and you just want to apply your sunscreen or if you want to apply it underneath makeup when i wear this i don't apply moisturizer i just use this sunscreen as my only skincare I probably use maybe i don't know i was about to say half but it looks like it's down here so this is my beekman 1802 primer this is the milk primer and it has spf 35 sunscreen in it i also bought this during an ulta sale this is pretty much empty like we're down to here this has been the primer to beat this year one of the reasons why i have so many sunscreens that are not used up is because i have been using this all year and emptied it pretty much my makeup has longevity whenever I use this product and I know that my skin is protected because it contains sunscreen so I really do like some of these products that have like two purposes that's always wonderful it allows you to skip a step and I really enjoyed this sunscreen primer the active ingredient for this one is zinc oxide it has 13 percent in it I had never tried anything from the brand when I started using this sunscreen an amazing first step in my makeup application love this okay a couple more primers I think I purchased all of these around the same time two of them came from an Ulta 21 days of beauty so one of them is the Jane Iredale smooth affair brightening primer and from what I remember this one also says that it will blur your pores as well when you apply this I don't necessarily notice blurring upon application but I also don't notice my pores standing out once I apply my makeup maybe it's doing what it claims to do <laughs> but what I just like about it is the longevity I'm always looking for primers that give me better wear and allow my makeup to last just a little bit longer and this is one of those primers it is one that is a little bit pricier than your average primer i was happy that i was able to purchase it half off it is a milky kind of consistency here it has a light fragrance that is very pleasant and it just gives you a hydrated appearance but still leaves your skin feeling a little bit tacky and prepped for makeup the final primer that i want to mention i almost didn't <laughs> mention because it is so expensive it's ridiculous i just wanted to try it it says instant and long term and it is by sicily this is a over 200 dollar primer i can't remember anymore what i paid for but it was stupid <laughs> it was a stupid purchase but it's so good it's one of those products that i'd heard so many people talk about this primer and how good it was and i just wanted to try it during a beauty leash sale where you had the gift card event and you got all the gift cards when you made a purchase i took advantage of that sale to purchase this product i would not buy this regular price I will buy it when it's on sale and there was a time when i was like wearing it every day and i had to stop myself i'm like do you want to empty this this year let's hold on to it a little longer it is the primer that i used under my makeup today it is gorgeous and it does give you longevity i have such mixed feelings about it like i really enjoy this primer but i don't want to tell you guys that like if you buy this you'll never want to use another primer again it's a good primer. Just excuse my hot pink glasses today, y'all. <laughs> it says lifting skincare with botanical extracts, which is effective both immediately and in the long term. An instant tightening mesh on the skin for features that appear lifted. Yeah, I would say. And in depth strengthening of the skin's firming capacity for more toned skin. So if you apply this regularly, 
over time you're gonna have more toned skin so I guess it just depends on what's important to you I would buy this again on sale but I definitely recommend it I will link it down below if any of you are curious about it it's so expensive it's ridiculous but I love it it's one of my favorites from this year let's go ahead and move on to foundation I have to tell you guys about this one if I've mentioned it before I'm gonna mention this one again this is the foundation that I'm wearing today and this is the Chantecaille future skin it's not a new launch it's just one that I finally purchased and this one is in the shade banana it is an oil free gel foundation I think I got this on sale as well just by everything I have been really working some sales lately y'all or I will look for the places that have really high cash back using formerly Ebates but Rakuten. I have my link down below if anybody is interested in signing up for Rakuten and using it because I get the referral when you guys actually use it after you sign up. <laughs> Just so you know. During this holiday season especially, I got so much cash back from Rakuten. So every time you make a purchase using the Rakuten links, you will get cash back on your purchase, sometimes 10%. So you get whatever the sale price is plus your cash back. But I think that when I purchased this, it was an item that was on sale and I made sure to go to a website that had Rakuten so that I could get it a little bit cheaper. I feel like it was in the 70s as far as the price of this. And I have used quite a bit. They don't have a wide shade range because this is a flexible product and it sort of becomes the tone of your skin like it totally blends into the skin and almost disappears as if you're not wearing anything like I'm sure you guys can tell that I have on foundation but it is very very skin like this is so worth the money it gives you your best skin ever. you guys have heard me talk about this so many times <laughs> this is from makeup forever and it's the HD skin when I purchased this I totally blanked on the fact that this was kind of replacing their HD forever foundation that was one of my holy grails probably one of my most purchased foundations so I had to run out and test this out for myself and see how good it is this one is the shade 3y52 I have absolutely totally gone bonkers over this foundation it is so good you're going to get really good longevity out of this foundation if i know that i'm going to have a very long day into the night this is the one that i'm going to reach for it is very skin like as well but just wears all day and night gives you medium buildable coverage is what i would say i have just totally enjoyed it it looks really good in photos and on video probably one of my most used throughout the entire year love that the other one that I purchased that I have used a lot because I can see through it now this is the number one the Chanel foundation I'm like laughing at myself every time I put this pink <laughs> pair of glasses on but this one is BD 91 I think that I tested this out in a Mother's Day makeup look was when I tried this for the first time I also think it was the video where I partnered with Ana Luisa. If you want to see me applying this, that's the video that I think that I wore this in. This is the best shade match on my skin. It just disappears on my skin. I would say it's a, a more hydrating foundation. Once I set it down with a powder, it's not oily. This just gives you that high-end, gorgeous look. When I want to look special, I will reach for this. I reach for it all the time, so that means I want to look special every day. It wears a long time as well, but not as long as my Makeup Forever. So I'll reach for this if I know I'm going to need to wear it longer. But this definitely gets me through my work day, and I love it. It's gorgeous. I can't remember for sure when I purchased this. But this is the best skin ever foundation, and I wear 35N. Initially, I did have a shade that was deeper, but went back and purchased this one and this is the perfect shade match again probably looks very similar to this one maybe just a little bit this is a frosted glass but I bet it's very similar because this one matches my skin as well I really have enjoyed this and it's starting to kind of be a little see-through as well and what I like about this is this is affordable it's $20 this is very full coverage it wears a long time as well I went through a period in 2022 where I reached for this every day so I don't know what's so special about it and why it looks so good but it is good this is perfect natural finish long wear foundation it does give you your best skin for 20 bucks 
will continue to have my best skin ever using this Sephora Collection foundation. Very good. Okay, guys, so I'm coming back to you later in the video, and I forgot to mention this foundation when I was talking about foundation, so I'm inserting this now. But this is the Michelob foundation. It was sent to me to review and it's very affordable and I really didn't expect much when I got this. You had to do a foundation quiz to find out your shade. I think there are flexible shades so it's not a huge variety of shades but shades will work for many people kind of thing. But this is such a gorgeous long wearing foundation. It's full coverage. It eliminates imperfections on your skin. I was so impressed with how this wore and how my skin looked when I wore this foundation and I've been wearing it all year but at the beginning of the year in the spring of the year I think is when I received this and I wore it a lot in the middle of the year but it is so good so it is another one that is an affordable foundation that I want to recommend to you guys even though it's a brand that you guys may not have heard of until they contacted me I hadn't heard of them but I think I would repurchase this that's how Good it looks on your skin. I reached for this foundation over the other ones that everyone has heard of that I just mentioned to you many times. There were many days when I would grab this one over my Chanel, over my Makeup Forever because it looks that good. It just seems to blur everything on your face. It just sort of makes your skin look like perfection. Purchase it online. I will link it down below, but it is a wonderful foundation. Concealers. This is an honorable mention concealer because it is affordable and I wanted to give you guys another affordable option. I did try this this year. This is the best skin ever concealer. It is definitely worth checking out if you're looking for something that's a little bit more affordable. It is a full coverage concealer. You don't have to use much of this to get the coverage that you're looking for. I didn't reach for it as much after I purchased it because there are just a couple over here that I like more. <laughs> but it is really good and I wanted to give you guys another affordable option. My foundation is 35 in and I went for 33 in on the concealer so that it will be a couple shades lighter and spot on as far as the shade, really do like it for brightening and it is very full coverage and affordable. The concealers that I have like totally gone bonkers over, bonkers is my word today, but totally love these concealers. One I think I told you guys about last year, but have to mention it again in this case because I used it to death. This is the Lancome Taunt Edol Ultra Wear Full Coverage Concealer. The one that I use is in 435 and it's a little bit deeper. So it's a really good concealer if you're the type of person that doesn't like that super bright under eye and you want something that's a little closer to your foundation shade. Like if you're my complexion and you use me as a shade match, this is the one that is like maybe one shade lighter than my foundation. I think I actually put this on when I did a no makeup makeup look because it's very lightweight and it just does a great job of concealing my dark circles in a very natural way where it just looks super natural on your skin. I also this year tried out this Huda Faux Filter Concealer. This one is the shade Caramel Corn. I apologize for not like opening everything, but we'll be sitting here all day if I swatch everything. <laughs> but this reminds me of the shade Tan from Tarte that I love. It's definitely a brightening shade and this is a little more emollient, a little more hydrating under the eye and both of these stand alone wonderfully. When I just want a more natural look and not too bright, this is the one. And if I want a brighter look, this is the one. But together, for whatever ridiculous reason, they give me this gorgeous under eye. I don't know what it is, why, but I love it. So it's the concealer that I have on today. I have both of these on and it like this tones down this brightness a little bit and emollients that this may have. And I just have enjoyed applying them together for some reason, but you can definitely use them separately. This probably gives me a little bit more coverage 
than the other. You can't go wrong if you purchased either of these. I feel like I'm gonna empty this soon, like both of them. I have used them that much. The powder that I'm gonna mention that I did purchase, I think this year I re-upped on, is the Huda powder. I still love my Nakia Joy powder as well, one of my favorites, but I have not opened my new one. So I haven't used it a ton this year, but love that powder. Best powder ever for oily skin. But the Huda powder in banana bread has been my go-to powder this year i love this like it is the powder that i have on today honestly i don't really see the need to touch up at all at this point which tells you something about mainly the primer i have on <laughs> oh that primer is so great one of the reasons that I think I'm having a pretty good makeup day is I'm just wearing so many of my favorites and I had really good reasons for liking these products. This is sort of a best all around powder for me. It is this perfect shade for underneath the eye. It is going to extend the wear of my makeup, of my foundation. It gives you this gorgeous airbrushed appearance and it goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with my Laura Mercier like I emptied a Laura Mercier I purchased and emptied a Laura Mercier so I do love Laura Mercier but this is another one that is kind of in that top five powders is my Huda powder to the point where I've repurchased it. it does have a slight fragrance you can't go wrong and it comes in a variety of shades depending on what you would like the other powder that I did use quite a bit this year and I can't remember if it was like a favorite last year because there was a time when I wasn't in love with this powder because I felt like it was kind of thick. I started using it because I bought it and this is the one size powder by Patrick Star. It has one of these kind of flip lids here and it, this is pretty much empty in here. At first I didn't like it. I felt like it was really thick and then there's just this little slash mark in the middle of the one size sort of like here right when the package was full it made it difficult for me to get the powder out. So I was struggling every time I would open this I'm like dumping the powder wouldn't come out of that little mark there so i wish that he would just put dots like everybody else does <laughs> i did find once i started using it it's really good if you have more oily skin so my t-zone would stay much more mattified for longer throughout the day so this was definitely worth it this is the translucent because it's patrick star i think it probably was meant to be a powder that is really absorbent and it's going to give you that long wear budge proof makeup this is very very good and i did empty it this year which is saying something let me do a little bit of body care and then we'll jump back into makeup i unboxed a josie Marin pr package i think maybe even in my last video so this is not something i have had very long but i was so impressed with this that i had to mention it in this video and since i did get it before the end of 2022 I thought I would mention it because I've been using it every day since I opened that box. This is the Argan Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil by Josie Marin. It's an oil. It's good for your face and other parts of your body that need hydration. I have been using this on my face, but I have mostly used it on my hands, my elbows, my feet my knees like places where your skin is a little drier it's just a creamy oil just like it says so it has just been such a treat to discover this because it's very hydrating i like this a lot <laughs> i like this a lot so when i couple this with the body cream you know you apply the body cream like you would lotion put it everywhere and then you go back and use this in certain places where it needs a little bit more intensive moisture. This is really good and I have been using it a lot, especially earlier this week and last week. Oh my goodness, it was so cold across the entire United States. But I'm in the South, so I was just about to die. 
It was so cold. I was using this a lot during that week because I just felt dry and I felt like I just couldn't get, get it again. Similarly, I have this other product that I purchased during a Sephora haul when they had a sale. I think it was in the spring. And this is 54 Thrones and it's butter and it says African. This is a body butter, Ugandan vanilla and Ethiopian honey is the fragrance of this one. I have emptied this. This was the mini. And if I can get some out, it's not quite empty, but it is almost on empty. And really I need to like, see, it looks like this when it comes out the tube. I really need to cut the tube to get what's left out of it. So, you know, I already have on the Josie Marin and I bet this is going to take it up a notch. Maybe, maybe not, <laughs> but this is very similar. No, it took it up a notch. Another product that is an oil filling cream where you have those places that need a little extra help, like your feet. <laughs> Or if you're a person like you're going to have your legs out and you want your legs to look shiny, this is the product to buy. I love this. When I first opened it, like it was small. I thought it was small, but I forgot it was a mini. It's a mini. It was harder to get started, like to squeeze it out because it's kind of a thick cream. I wish this came in a jar versus a tube. But I like it so much that I have already repurchased it. They had a set, like a gift set during this holiday season. This is the one I've already opened. This is the Kenyan Hibiscus Moroccan Rose. And it doesn't really smell like rose. It smells the same as the first one actually, but this other one is Egyptian Lavender and Moroccan Mint. And the last one is the Ugandan Vanilla Ethiopian Honey. This is gonna be a little bit smaller than the other mini. It does come in a larger one than this. But by buying it in the gift set, I saved a little money because it was a gift set and I can try other scents to see if I like any others. I really will keep buying this because I just love when my skin looks that good and that hydrated. Let me talk a little bit about a couple fragrances too. You guys know I purchased the Baccarat Rouge 540 a couple years ago. So not really here to talk about this one because I'm emptying it quickly. Like maybe more than half I've used up. I discovered something recently and I already knew this, but I finally purchased this because I purchased a couple of these as gifts. I always have to buy it for myself when I buy it for other people. This does really smell like Baccarat Rouge. So I wanted to tell you guys about it, even though it's not quite a favorite, it's just a favorite discovery. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Cheirosa. Cheirosa? Some of you probably know what, how to say this better than me, but it's the Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit is what it says on here. And it's the pink one. And you have to be careful when you pick this up because there's another one that looks sort of like peachy in color and you might pick up the wrong one. But the pink one that looks sort of baby pink is the one that smells just like the Baccarat Rouge. I don't know how they did that magic, but they did that. If you want to try Baccarat Rouge, but you don't want to spend that kind of money, I think this costs $20 for this body mist. And oh my goodness, blows my mind that this smells like this. If you wear this, you're going to smell just as expensive as if you wear this. I have not had this one that long, but I had the travel size. So I just purchased the one ounce. But I love this because I love the size of it. I think it is darling. It is so cute. And this is a replica fragrance and coffee break. This is a very fresh, powder fresh fragrance and perfect for every day. I will definitely probably empty this bottle in 2023 but I love wearing this as an everyday fragrance, love this. The final fragrance that I wanna mention that I purchased this year is Clean Reserve Skin. That's what it's called, Skin. I've used about this much this year. I purchased it because another YouTuber recommended it. I did go in store and smelled it first, and then I purchased it when the sale started. This is another one of those perfect everyday fragrances that you can wear year round and I love having those in my collection and I will reach for this one whenever I want to smell nice in intimate situations like if I know I'm gonna be going home to visit family like I think that when I went home for Christmas I wore this 
I knew I'd be hugging people, but I didn't want to overpower the room. I have family members that have allergies and all that, so I didn't want everyone to smell me when I walked in the room, my fragrance to enter before me, but I wanted to smell good when people got close to me. That's when I will wear this. This is my everyday fragrance and my fragrance that it makes you smell nice, but it's not too overpowering and not too heavy. I never can describe fragrance. I don't even try, but it, it smells like a product that has like oils. You know how products have those oils in them? It, it has that kind of scent to me. Like it has some type of special oils to make the fragrance, but I love it. I love the simplicity of the package and I love this fragrance as a daily, everyday type fragrance. Very good. Not too overpowering, just right just enough back to makeup these are anastasia beverly hills brow products this is the brush 7b with a spoolie and an angled brush and i purchased this this year and i also re-upped on the dip brow in dark brown and i haven't used this in years and it looks like I have not used very much, but my goodness, I have probably used this to sculpt my brows 30 times, <laughs> like 20, 30 times. I used it to sculpt my brows today. This has just been a nice rediscovery. I purchased it in ebony originally, and it was really dark, and I liked it at the time, but I didn't want that dark brow anymore. I wanted one that's more natural. Dark brown is a better color for me. And I wanted to have something that I could use to not have to purchase pencils so much. Brow pencils, you can just go through them so much quicker. They're easier, but they empty so fast and ultimately are gonna be more costly over time. It's not as foolproof, I think, as the pencil, but it's great to have this or the powder in your possession so that you can use it from time to time so that you're not always buying so many brow pencils. So I just like having the option to use something other than a brow pencil. I want you to forgive me because I'm gonna mention some products that you can't buy anymore, I don't think, unless you go to eBay. I was using this a lot at the start of the year and I have to at least tell you because even if you can't buy this, you may be able to buy the latest version. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs Holiday Palette from last year. This is the Celestial Odyssey Palette. I have not dipped into every shade in this palette. I definitely have not. But there is one shade, I think this is Rose Venus, is this shade. At the start of the year, you guys probably saw me in a few videos where I was wearing this one shade this is the most beautiful eyeshadow let's see if you can see i love this eyeshadow on my lid so i would just pop on this crease color here and then this and that's it maybe a little bit of the dark brown over here that was like my go-to look i didn't purchase her holiday palette this year because it seemed like it had a lot of bright colors that i don't tend to wear that much but this one has been my favorite holiday palette. I purchased the one before this too, but I have used this the most. I wish that some of my favorites from this palette were in a quad. If I can find it, I will link it, but I don't know that you can get it anymore. This was a wonderful holiday palette and I have worn it out all year long, but especially at the start of the year. Love this. I think this might be the only other one, but one more thing that you can't buy. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of these you can still purchase, but again, have to mention this because literally this is what I have been wearing this year. This is a Z palette that I owned already that was empty. Makeup Geek went out of business. She put everything on her website 40% off. They also had these products on JCPenney's website as well. These are the blushes, bronzer, highlighter, and eyeshadow that I picked up when the sale was going on and they all happened to fit in my Z palette. Like when I bought them, I didn't think I'd have this perfect fit, but it worked out that way. Guys, I kid you not. I have probably used this palette more than anything for my weekday makeup looks and you can tell it's looking all starting to look busted but this highlighter is like a peach highlighter i think surprisingly like it it kind of goes on white when you like put it on your hand here but my gosh this highlighter surprised me and gives me the most gorgeous looking strobe looks like it has melted into my skin when i apply this i don't have any of this on today i didn't want to 
hurt your feelings because you might not be able to get it. <laughs> I will link everything down below that's in this palette and try to find it if it's still out here. Love this baby pink blush and this one have really enjoyed this and the bronzer is like this perfect neutral bronzer and these eyeshadows I would just wear all the time like this was my go-to eyeshadow look every day let's just my everyday look it was just wonderful having this all conveniently in a palette where I could just do most of the colors that would go on my face in one palette like it was just so convenient to have this i surprised myself because i have created z palettes in the past that i didn't use that much but this one i have used to death and will continue to use it like i just always have this out and on my vanity love this i think i may have purchased this last year i feel like i did i have worn this a ridiculous amount despite the fact that it's a purple palette i have really used this there are some shades that i haven't used very much of i'm wearing this today this is the palette i used to create the eyeshadow look that i'm wearing today and i'll do something similar to this if i'm feeling a little purple that day but i mentioned this before but this like column over here is where i live in this one kind of transition shade and I will create this smoky eye from dark to light with just mattes and that's like a go-to everyday look that I will create when I go to work I love this palette for that just anytime I'm in the mood for purple this is the one I reach for it's been my favorite this year the worst part about it is the size like it's really not travel friendly <laughs> or anything but it's nice to have a large palette i didn't need a palette this size but still love this i think maybe a july somewhere in the middle of the year i did a, a favorites video i was wearing this palette and loved how the look turned out but it was like a perfect representation of how i use this palette whenever i create my everyday looks so good this is called the divine blush and glow cheek palette nude venus so i haven't had it very long but i think you can still purchase this and i was so impressed with how it looks that i just wanted to make sure to mention it in today's video so that you guys could go and try this out because it's limited edition but i think that this is such a wonderful way to try pat mcgrath labs blushes so the size that they come in this palette is absolutely perfect because the actual blush size is much larger and that's wonderful to have too but this way you can try four blushes another big surprise for me i wasn't sure that i'd be able to use all four shades which was surprised like really pat you created some shades that don't work on a woman of color and you're a woman of color what was i thinking yes they all work on a woman of color even though they look light in the pan like this looks really really light in the pan but on my cheek it is wonderful it's, it's beautiful it shows up and so does this one don't be fooled by how these look in the pan they look light especially on camera with my lights and in person they look kind of light but on the cheeks they're gorgeous the highlighter is also beaming beautiful beautiful highlight this is a wonderful buy you get desert orchid nude venus divine rose 3 paradise venus and sunset nectar is the shade of the highlight i highly recommend them i love this. these couple of products i just got recently they i think went viral at least this one did the charlotte tilbury contour wand i think this one's medium dark it's the darkest shade so whatever that one's called because i don't want to put my glasses back on <laughs> and i actually have on a little bit of the glowgasm but you probably can't tell it i went very very light but i put a little bit on this is my first time trying this and it's beautiful 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 highlight and then this is what i used to sculpt today and to give me this contoured effect that you see here and i'm really not a liquid cream wearer i tend to forget them i like don't put them on before powder i put them on after powder and these work after powder so good this is definitely worth the hype the color is perfection 
like it is so beautiful on the skin it blends out beautifully with a sponge or a brush i like using a brush but both are gorgeous love these i think i got this this year <laughs> this is the lys bronzer and this is the shade courage this is like a perfect bronzer for my complexion it's not going to be too deep or too light it's just perfect it's going to give you that perfect added warmth to the skin and it is affordable so i have put a dent like i use this so much and reach for it so much that i actually have a dent in the powder <laughs> and it kind of surprised me when i noticed it i was like huh i have a dent here now i used this one and the makeup geek bronzer the most this year like i kept reaching for this so definitely uh check this brand out it's affordable at sephora i really enjoyed it it's a beautiful matte bronzer and this one is the perfect bronze shade for my complexion love this another product that i used as a bronzer but it is not a bronzer this is the soft sculpt transforming skin perfector he actually has another product that has a similar name too i don't know if that one's cream this one's powder he might need to like stop naming stuff the same stuff <laughs> get some names that sound different this is a skin perfector but i just liked this more than the bronzer this is makeup by mario that's who makes this i liked this in store more than the bronzer so i picked this up and you kind of swish all of this together and it gives you this very beautiful illuminated bronzer and it is what i also have on today so i used the charlotte tilbury to sculpt then i went back over everything with this and it just gives you this healthy glow so not a matte bronzer but it just is this soft sculpt it's a soft sculpt so i just like using this as the bronzer and eventually maybe i'll go back and try his bronzers out too but i was making a choice that day and of the two i i like this better and i guess i could swatch this i'm gonna swirl it together so that you guys can see what this looks like and it's this really earthy kind of color it is not a tan it's got almost like a bronzer quality like it's got a color that if you didn't want to apply blush that day i guess you could just use this but i have worn this to death this year as well love this so speaking of a bronzer i also got this towards the end of the year but definitely feel like it is worth mentioning to you guys this is bare minerals bronzer in kiss of rose i have a little bit of this on as well this is not that expensive i would definitely recommend that you guys pick this up especially given the price point this is one of those kind of one and done type products i bet this would even be pretty on the eyes i haven't tried it that way but just looking at it it just looks like something i would probably like on my eyes like if you were trying to do a monochromatic look and you use this sort of as your bronzer your blush and then put it on your eyes probably look great so let me just swatch it for you guys so you can see it's this really beautiful earthy rosy color i love this i love this on their website they mention like sweeping it over your cheeks and your nose kind of making a w sort of doing it that way i use it like i use bronzer i apply it kind of deep in the hollows here and then i'll put a little bit up here like a little bit around the perimeter of my face i don't know that i did it that way today i think i just put a little bit in the back here but i did apply this today this is so good it has a little bit of shimmer emollients and it just looks like a product that can serve as both if you use this you don't have to wear a bronzer you can wear this as your blush and your bronzer it is a bronzer kiss of rose very very good by bare minerals love this i debated on whether to mention this one again at one point i didn't like this because the packaging was hard to open but i have worked on this and now i can open it a little better this is a pat mcgrath labs blush notice what i was telling you before how much larger this is once i kind of started being able to open this more easily i started using this a lot at the start of the year one of the reasons that i wanted to buy the other palette was i had such a wonderful experience with this blush again i think i got this last year but i didn't use it a ton because of the packaging but now 
I use this a lot. There's something with the formula of these blushes that it gives you this very smooth cheek. Like it has a little bit of a sheen, but not a glittery sheen. So it just gives you this healthy flush. It gives you this like dewy complexion without glitter. So your cheeks just look out of this world. Something about the formula in these blushes is just perfect and gonna look great on more people. It's a, a more universal type of blush. This one is gonna give you like a pink cheek, like it's more pink in color, but it just adds this healthy flush to the cheek. You don't really need to apply much to get the blush color you want it just gives you this healthy flush so love this one and really am happy that I got this particular shade because it's very different than any other blush shade that I have I love it wore this a lot this year I think this is my final blush I bought some of these blushes during my last Sephora haul but the Gucci one I haven't really used that much so it's not over here but the Dior I wanted to get into immediately immediately I wanted to start wearing this and I have been using this ever since I open it it's sort of that hot pink color it says 001 pink on the back but it oftentimes is sold out and it is what I have on my cheeks right now let's just put a little I don't really need to add any more but I have on the bronzer like in the back as I mentioned here but I used the pink on my apples and it's the majority of what you see this is such a beautiful blush and it looks more intimidating in the pan you just don't know what it's going to look like on deeper skin but it is beautiful on deep skin and again it's sort of like the pat mcgrath blushes it adds this nice healthy radiant flush to your cheeks without the glitter so I just love how this looks. I don't really have any highlighters to mention to you guys because I didn't purchase any new. I was wearing a different lipstick that is not one of my favorites. I just felt like wearing that lipstick today. I just took it off and one of the lipsticks that I did purchase this year came in this nice little pouch here. This is a Sicily lipstick. It's right up my alley. It is the shiny kind of lipsticks. This is Sheer Blossom is the shade. I don't remember exactly what it's called but it is a shiny lipstick and I'm gonna put it on without lip liner so you guys can see the color and it's sort of like a coral color I keep this in my purse it does have the most beautiful case and it snaps in place here and it's just very luxurious love the case of this and it's like a glossy lip so you don't really have to add gloss it's one of those shiny lips I love the color I wear this all the time this has definitely been one of my go-to lips this year. Okay, another lipstick that I purchased this year is from Gucci and some people that I've heard talk about the Gucci lipsticks like buy it as a collector's item and don't even wear it I'm like are you kidding me really I don't do that I'm gonna wear this this one is Mildred Rosewood <laughs> I was really surprised with the name and this is another one that I keep in my purse and I actually put it on a lot especially if I want to look like I have color on my lips. This one has more fragrance in it. It's a little less shiny than the Sicily one, but it has a little shine to it and it's more of a sheer lipstick. But as you can tell, it adds this nice color, a deeper color to my lips. So I will apply this one if I really want you to be able to tell I have something on <laughs> and I will oftentimes reach for this love the beautiful case and i carry this in my purse so this has been another go-to lip of mine okay i'm gonna apply a lip liner that's foxy brown this one i almost didn't put over here because it's a sample and i haven't purchased the larger size because i still have some sample left and it is by nars and i think it's called american woman i think it's like a lip pigment or tint it's kind of like a liquid lip to me so it's sort of matte and I'm gonna apply another lip with this I had this on earlier also a sample that I just got and it's from Valentino and I really like this but it's lighter so I'm gonna put that in the middle I was wearing just the Valentino earlier but what I tend to do is I'll put this on with a light lip in the middle just like I just did and then I usually apply 
a gloss and usually it's the Pat McGrath gloss in Dare to Bear but I don't have that one over here today so we're gonna apply Ravish which is a Tom Ford gloss also one of my yearly favorites so throughout this video I have had on the Foxy Brown lip liner this Valentino lip 100 R is the <laughs> shade of this but it's like a light pink and I just liked it so much when I tried it on the other day that I decided to wear it today. And then I have been topping it with Ravish. That's what I've been wearing throughout the video. But now I've applied it with my NARS that I love. I've been adding in the buff to add an extra punch. Because it just adds a shine. It is like has gold in it with reflex in it. And it is practically on empty like you can see on this side almost empty so let me just talk about all of these now that i've got my lip back on love 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 this little nars american woman and i have it in my loves on sephora's website so that when i finally empty this i will pick this up i will actually purchase it because i just love that liquid lip but it's a very comfortable liquid lip sort of feel that it gives you it makes my lipstick stay on longer i've actually filmed with this on as well a couple times but i will apply it it will get me all the way to lunch like it just stays on the lips so even after the gloss wears off this is still there so love that i may have to actually go purchase this valentino very soft on the lips very very soft now i wouldn't consider this to be like super long wearing but it's very comfortable on the lips so anyway not not part of my annual favorites but I just discovered it and it's really good the lip glosses by Tom Ford oh my goodness I am obsessed with these two I actually gifted one of these to a friend of mine because I love these so much and she also likes lipsticks and is really into lipsticks and gloss it was one of my former bosses and I gave it to her for her birthday and she loves it as well and I bought it in another color and I may go back and purchase that color for myself as well these are magnificent Ravish was actually on sale during the holidays and sold out at Sephora before I even knew it was on sale it's definitely my kind of shade it's like this pink that you see on my lips right now it's beautiful and the buff is like a sheer like a clear gloss but it has these gold reflex in it love the quality of the packaging love these glosses by tom ford highly recommend that you try this brand of lip gloss it just gives you the juiciest looking lip as you can tell <laughs> just this i just love i just love this lip gloss i don't know how I almost forgot this. This is the Professional Super Setter. This was a wonderful discovery this year. I got it during 21 Days of Beauty, so I think maybe at the start of the year. I was down to like the last of my setting sprays. The one that they were featuring during the 21 Days of Beauty this year was this one, and I never used it, but I had heard good things, so I was still excited to see that this was the one featured. So I purchased two of them. Should have bought more, but I purchased two of them. This is amazing stuff this quickly has gone to a holy grail status like i like this one better than my urban decay all-nighter i think it like causes my foundation to look good for longer um the professional super setter a lightweight micro fine mist helps lock on makeup softens the look of pores and feels weightless i don't know that i have had a setting spray say that it softens the look of pores well one day i created a makeup look and i was like feeling myself a little bit that day i was like oh my makeup looks great today i'm gonna do this again tomorrow i can't remember what i put on that day but whatever it was i thought it was a great makeup day and i'm gonna duplicate it tomorrow because i like my complexion so much well, the one thing that I did different at the end was I grabbed a different setting spray instead of this one. I was like, well, setting spray doesn't matter. Let me grab something else. I went in the mirror and I was like, something's not the same. I remember, <laughs> I remember thinking something is not the same. I'm like, what looks different? Because it doesn't look as pretty as it looked yesterday. And I put on the same stuff. It was this. And I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot this setting spray removes pores and kind of gives you this flawless look it does it softens everything it just softens the look it does something special 
to whatever makeup look you are wearing this one is almost empty and i have one more so definitely will repurchase this at any price that's how much i love this now down to the very end oh my gosh this video is going to be so long i apologize i thought i was going to do better this year but long video i can tell i wanted to mention this makeup brush because i think i bought this this year this is a sonia g face pro brush and i use it for bronzer this has been such a wonderful brush i think it was when they had the beauty lish card event maybe was when i bought this i didn't buy the set of brushes because they're super pricey and this was the one i really wanted from that set and it's just a nice angled brush very fluffy oh so wonderful for applying bronzer it is a handmade japanese crafted brush and you can purchase it at beautylish but i highly recommend this brush i love it i would be remiss if i didn't mention this keratin treatment technically i used two different keratin treatments this year the first one was keratin research and you can purchase it on amazon i will link that one down below i do have a video that has been watched many times of me applying that keratin treatment um many of you that may be watching me right now came to me from that video and i like that keratin treatment as well it is affordable it does contain formaldehyde that's the only drawback i felt like i got a really good result with that affordable keratin treatment you can really get like two and a half uses out of that keratin treatment that one bottle i have repurchased this one <laughs> that was sent to me to try out because it was so much easier <laughs> and with this one i got a kit and it came with um the keratin that was in here so you applied this entire bottle and it is a spray bottle of keratin treatment and then you got a shampoo and conditioner and mine came with a flyaway gel that i don't really use that often but i have used and it is good so this is a smoothing treatment a keratin treatment and it does not contain formaldehyde i just repurchased it because they had a sale on their website because of the holidays and i could use my discount code that saves you an additional 15 percent I think I saved like 35% total. I did not purchase the kit again because I have shampoo and conditioner left. I decided to purchase two of the keratin treatments. So that tells you something because it was sent to me to review, but I purchased it again. I can't tell this for sure because I put the first keratin treatment in such a long time ago, but I feel like this one is lasting longer. But I don't know if that's true or if it's just because I am actually wearing it straight longer. But I felt like with my original keratin treatment that I was able to go into the curly state of my hair much quicker. Like maybe after the third or fourth week, I felt comfortable wearing it curly. Whereas this one, I felt like I had too many parts that were still kind of straight and didn't look that great curly. Six weeks or more ago, I put this keratin treatment in my hair this is what my hair looks like now um like six weeks later i feel like i could go you know the full three months before i need to apply the keratin again it was a matter of me spraying it on and leaving it on up to an hour rinsing it off and then you go through the straightening process blow dry and straighten your hair and that was it just had to mention this in my annual favorites because i'm really happy that i have discovered this keratin treatment because it doesn't have formaldehyde i didn't have to wear the mask and it was a faster process to apply the treatment it was just faster easier and works the final product that i want to mention i think i may have mentioned last year but i still wanted to mention this one more time because i have loved this so much this is from gesu i think is how you say it and it is a honey infused hair oil i wanted to show you guys that i have pretty much emptied this i have already repurchased this this came in a gift set if they still have it i will link the gift set as well in the description box but this is a honey infused hair oil and it is just the silkiest feeling oil that i really enjoy adding to my hair as a last step it's just like this last little smoothing step that i do and i will put it on my ends and it just helps with my ends it helps smooth any flyaways it's just great 
I don't hear many people talking about this oil. It has a dropper and it's just this silky feeling hair oil that I love. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my best in 2022 favorites. This has definitely been a long video. So to celebrate the new year that is coming in 2023, let's use a party emoji. So if you made it to the end of the video, how about give me a party emoji. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me to the end of this video. And thank you for joining me for today's video as well as for many of my videos throughout the year. I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.